guys and welcome back to another video hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today to take a look at a tool that can save us from losing our data we all have passed through that moment where we have some crucial data on a sd card on a usb drive on a computer and all of a sudden there is a crash or we just format it because we forgot that we have that video that it's necessary and the tool that we are going to look today as a solution which in my opinion is awesome now first of all in my opinion i always advise to have backups 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 but if we go to a point where there is no backup and we need to have some document or video or photo then this might be a solution now it is available for windows and for mac and if you are using windows and you still haven't activated your license don't forget to check out keys fan where we can find budget official om keys and in no time you will have your windows 10 windows 11 home edition or pro edition activated with everything that windows offers so link down below just below the tenor share for the dig software which is the focus of our video today now first of all there is a free version that we can test it out i will leave the link down below so that you guys can download and with this software basically we will be able to recover files from any storage device ssds usbs micro sd cards and so on and so forth and besides that we will also be able to recover files from computers that are not working at all so once we download for windows or for mac we just need to install it and it is free to try it out and one of the things that i do find useful is that i can actually see what i can recover before i need to buy a license so this is great from tenorshare to allow us to see what we can do now this was exactly the first test that i did once i did install i did put in a micro sd card or sd card right over here i did format that sd card and then i did scan for videos i did scan for pictures and what it did was exactly to show me what i could recover so this will give me the confidence that okay i'm going to pay something but i'm going to get my value data back so this was awesome i did try that test and i also did try another one which is very common for me probably not for you which is when i'm recording screens what like i did for uh, this review right over here what happens is that sometimes the computer crashes or the program crashes and we get a file that it's corrupted a video file that was recorded but it's not readable so i did test it out and it's also capable of recovering corrupted video files or pictures now once we have seen what we can recover and we believe that it's worth it then we can purchase the key and activate the software link down below with the coupon code that you will get an extra discount and after that what i did was i did a lot of tests and sometimes i do more than i need to but this is what i am now in terms of results what i can share with you really quickly is that i grabbed an SD card once again uh, with files I did put in some videos I did put in some pictures and I did format the SD card now I did the same procedure which was to scan and the way that I find easier is instead of selecting all files I just want to recover pictures for example so what I do is I select pictures scan the SD card and I not even waited for uh, to complete at 17 percent we had already 80 files found so it could recover all of the files that I did place in before formatting the SD cards and besides that it also recovered quite a few more now one of the things that I do notice is that if we format once it will get all those files but if we format second time third fourth it will get more difficult and more difficult for any software to recover the files from the sd card or from the ssd so just have 
this in mind. If you remember, oh, I need a file that I did delete and formatted 10 times ago, it will be a little bit more difficult. Now, I also did the same with the videos. So a new scan just for videos so that I don't have many files to look at. And the result was very similar, very fast in no time. It was in 19% when I did stop the scanning mode and it already had found 27 videos while I just wanted to recover nine videos, which were the ones that I did placing for the test. And as you can see by some images, I was able to recover all of them. And if I wanted to recover all the ones, I could as well. So if this is your case, you have lost some files, then this is one of the best tools that we have tried. And it's really quickly to find uh, the files. Now, there is also a advanced search that if you don't find at the first time, it will uh, try to search and search with different algorithms and things like that. But in my particular case, it was not even necessary. And I did format the SD card more than once. So great there's also a really interesting feature in my opinion probably the most significant which is when someone has a computer that completely crashes and you cannot boot from that computer and i've heard this so many times from my friends this software has actually the capability to create a usb drive that will boot that computer and will allow us to remove or to capture the data that we thought that we lost now the process is very simple we just need to press the button where it says recover crashed computer it will tell us exactly what to do we just need to put in the pen and then after that it will create a bootable usb drive once we have that usb drive ready we just need to remove it and place on the computer that does not boot go to the br settings which is while the computer is booting we will press the delete or the f2 depending on the model of the computer once we are right over there we need to select the boot order and in this particular case we want to boot from the usb drive that we have just created we will reach the software and after that the menu will be very easy and very friendly. We just need to press scan and it was really quickly. It did find in my particular case 194,000 files. So I could recover roughly 200 and something gigabytes of information that I had on my drive and this was actually really really nice after that after you recover your data you can then put it on another usb drive and you can start formatting your computer once again to get it all cleaned and then putting the data back on your computer and hopefully you did not lose anything on this process so Basically, this is it, guys. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the video and hopefully I was able to explain what you can achieve with this. But better than that, you will have the link down below where you can download and try for yourself before purchasing any license to see if you can recover or if you can fix a video that is broken or if you can scan the files on your computer that does not boot. That being said, if it was useful, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George. Today we tenor share for the dig. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.